Hi, this is a, a little bit of bit video where I'm talking about uh, registration and stitching, but now in the pari. The question is, can the big stitcher uh, be there in the pari? And I did the stitching in Fiji using big stitcher and saved my results as multi-resolution H5 file. And uh, now you have the possibility of exporting this into Napari and be able to see the results. So in this case, uh, the image came from expansion microscopy. And what I built is li this little widget where you can choose the pyramid resolutions uh, in which your data was saved. For example, if you choose the most crudest one, and then you can choose the channel. And what my uh, stitching had were two illumination settings with five different channels so you can choose the channel and it's going to show in this particular setting in a very crude way these kind of these two different channels you know it doesn't look like much here but now let's just uh, start playing with this let's uh, instead of seeing it in such a down sample space let's uh, see it in a, a bit up sample space and now let's uh, give these two different layers first of all additive settings so that we can see both at the same time and then let me make one of them green and the other one, let's say, red. And uh, I'm going to adjust the contrast settings for these two different illumination settings. So here you can see the results of your stitching, which are coming from Fiji, but now you can see them in the Pari viewer. And one good thing about uh, these kind of the way in which you can see these results is that you can actually fix, uh, switch to this cube view of Napari, where you can just kind of uh, move your sample around, yeah, and then you can use Napari controls if you're more comfortable with it than you know, the controls in the Big Stitcher, and use this to kind of look at how good the stitching or registration was. For example, you can uh, make this go away and you can just see one channel or you can just see both of them and you can adjust the contrast settings from here so it's like if you're more comfortable like I am in adjusting these kind of contrast settings in Napari I could just you use this to view my results and remember this is still in a down sample space so let me uh, up sample it by two and then I can judge these results more better because then I'm in a up sample space and the original space is just a grid space of 111 so kind of napari uh, adjusts to uh, the 3d view based upon the based upon the scale so if you want to really see this kind of uh, nice 3d view of your uh, different channels then you kind of have to scale it so here now unfortunately the settings are lost so you would have to set this again to editive one of them green and the other one red and again additive right so now you have this and then you can select your uh, illumination or yeah and now this is 3d so this is the nice thing about the party that you can actually move your sample and zoom in with a different kind of controls on your keyboard to see how your uh, stitching and registration compare to each other so that's kind of nice and uh, this code you can get in the link that I will post under this video and this is uh, for expansion microscopy where I had a particular case where I had uh, five channels right so you could modify this to suit your needs where you have different angles because in my case I didn't have different angles but all of this information is contained in the H5 file and you can make like a tiny widget over here which contains resolutions channels angles and then you can actually have just a kind of a nice view uh, using the Napari viewer to view all of uh, these different results instead of uh, viewing them in the big stitcher if you prefer to do so in Napari so that was it uh, and I'm just gonna wait for it to flip to the channel one it takes a bit of time oh this looks nice oh, this looks nice it's like really you can select green make it additive change this make it red again additive and now you can see the quality of the stitching uh, let me see if both of them are kind of at the same level okay so I, i'm doing a lot of things on my computer 
so it's like it takes a bit of time but you can do this on a supercomputer and you would see these nice results like how nice this is to see this in this cube and again this is in a down sample grid remember two to one which is how uh, Fiji has saved this but this looks super awesome these different kind of stitched and registered results and look at these filaments in like 3d and let's make it go away and oh this is super nice stitching and registration of these two different channels right and it's like um yeah affine transformations doing their stuff and viewing them in the party is eye candy and that's all the video i have for you today thank you for watching